Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of One Set Piano. I today have two very special guests with me who will help me rank 30 piano pieces from easy to Ling Ling level. Hello. Hello. My name is Brett. And my name is Ed Wee Wee. And we're here to help Sophie Wee Wee. So Sophie, please tell us how we rank all of these pieces. So first of all, I have to say this is an incredibly difficult task because there are pieces that are technically not so difficult, but musically extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. And so where do you put the bars? But we can try. First one is Beethoven Moonlight Sonata. I mean, the first movement, almost every beginner plays because obviously from the notes, it's not so difficult, mm -hmm. just playing the notes. But for me personally, playing this first movement really well is extremely difficult. Ooh. So, and also the second movement obviously is difficult technically too. So, I don't know, let's put it to God level. Oh! That escalated quickly. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, let's start strong. Really, I mean, the first movement, it's just, it's very tricky with sound production and keeping the long line going. And because if you just play, you know, da, 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 yeah, everyone's already fallen asleep. Uh -huh. So mm. there are virtuoso pieces that if you practice them enough, you can play them. But then there are pieces like, for example, maybe this first movement, if you don't have a good sound production or if you don't, yes. I don't know feel the music, you won't be able to get it right no matter how much you practice, if you practice 40 hours a day. So That's true. Yeah. As a violinist, I also agree. I humbly agree. accept your verdict. All right, next one. List, La Campanella. Oh, I mean, of course, it's extremely difficult. Okay. Technically. Technically. <laughs> I would put it in, in hard. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Easier, easier than me. Because I feel... Not easier, but I feel like if you like really work on it, you can tackle it. Got it. Yeah, yeah makes sense. If you it practice sense. it enough. Yes. Yeah. I guess it's like Bach. Paganini Campanella versus Beethoven Kreutzer Sonata. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know Kreutzer what you mean. Sonata's harder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto Number Two. Ooh. I think I, I, I think I'm gonna guess what Sophie's gonna say. Yeah. I'll, I'll say it to the mic first. Bling, bling. No, it's definitely not easy. It's not medium. It's not. I would put it god level too. Oh, oh okay. Damn, I was wrong. I thought you were gonna say Ling Ling. Damn. God I have level. to save the Ling Ling. I don't know. I don't. I don't yeah, dare exactly. You gotta save Ling Ling. I feel like it's such a monumental concerto, and it's equally hard. I think technically and musically, you need to have goosebumps when you listen to that. Mm, that's true. And so it's definitely up there. You know, I found out Rachmaninoff dedicated that concerto to his hypnotist. Mm. Did you know that? No, I didn't 40 know. 40 hours a day. Because uh, he was going through depression and he went to hypnotherapy and the hypnotherapy cured him. And so he dedicated it to Maybe him. the beginning. Yeah, the dum, dum. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. My hands are too small. I can't reach those chords. It's kind of sad. My sister can, but I can't. Oh, that's a, that's cheating. Just genetically <laughs> cheating. Next one, we have, what's this? Schumann, the, the traumatizer? What is it? <laughs> it's Träumerei. Dreaming. Ah, it's dreaming. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, it's a very slow piece, <laughs> but musically very, very challenging to have the calm and the long lines. And I would put it in medium. Yeah. yeah. My gut that. says medium. Okay. A lot of people play it as an encore. Nice. Okay. I love the piece. Very nice. Next. Schubert the Stan Chen. It's you, Eddie. Stan Chen. <laughs> so okay, it's pronounced Stan Chen. Stan Chen. What does it mean? Like a standing Eddie Chen? Say serenade. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Serenade. <laughs> oh, right, Originally, it's a song, actually. Oh, so it's easy. Oh, and so easy. <laughs> <laughs> for not making it too complicated, yes, let's put it in easy. Oh. But it is, in fact, not easy. <laughs> But it's easy because it's a song. Let's just put it out there. Yeah. No, no, no. It's Schubert is never easy to get right musically, but mm. to make this rating thing not too complicated, let's put it there. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Chopin piano sonata number two in B flat minor opus thirty five. Okay, I will put it in God level. Ooh. <laughs> the third movement is the slow funeral march that is 
very difficult to get right. If you're sitting in the audience and you ha are starting to get tears in your eyes, then it's right. <laughs> Have you ever cried in a concert from a pianist? Not like straight up bawling, but having tears in the eyes because it's so beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you know, but the middle section in this funeral march, it's like... Heaven, basically. It's so beautiful, if it's played that way. That's why I would put it in God level. Okay. Because the other movements are also technically very difficult. I've never cried, but one day. That means none of them played it good enough for you, bro. Yes, one day someone will touch my heart <laughs> with their piano playing. Bach, prelude number one in C major. Mm. Again, for this purpose, I would put it in easy. Oh. It's kind of a piece that every beginner also learns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I just it from in the, com in the virtual because it has the, you know the notes they're not so far apart and it's good for learning. Um, I got a question. Beginner things, yes. Do you pedal that piece or no pedal? A little bit. A little bit. Mm. I couldn't decide when I was playing. I always heard from my teacher, good pedaling in Bach is when you you don't notice that you're yeah. using pedal. But it makes the sound more round and more beautiful. Ah. For playing the notes, it's it's not difficult. Then mm. obviously musically it's a different story, but let's put it there. Mozart, piano sonata number 16 in C major. Okay, I'm going to do something very bold uh -oh. and I'm going to put it in Ling Ling level. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> You're not trolling, right? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the Facile Sonata, which means easy. Which means but, easy. Yeah, but it's actually one of the most... I mean, Mozart is always difficult on the violin as well, on every instrument. And this sonata, there's not that much material. It has to be so on point that, you know, it comes across well. And I think Lang Lang, he did some recording of so-called easy piano pieces like Für Elise was also there and this was also there to show you know that these pieces they're not easy now that I think about it in the virtual tour I feel like my Mozart I struggled more than the uh, Shostakovich cadenza even mm. though you think the Shostakovich yeah. cadenza is a lot harder than Mozart concerto no Mozart's hard but the yeah. Mozart to yeah. like actually nail it properly. Mozart is always Ling Ling level yeah. <laughs> Chopin, Blood Number one. Opus 23. Mm, I've played it before also. There are four ballads. It's not the hardest. Okay. I would say number four is the hardest. I would put it in hard. Okay. Because obviously it's not an easy piece. Mm -hmm. Like the coda is technically difficult. But it's it's still wibble. Mm, nice. Here's another show going on. Here you go. Purely number four. Four. Opus 28. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in hard. I was thinking medium, but I think I'll put it in hard. Really? Don't let me because... influence you. Are you sure? No, no, no. Let's put it in hard. It's really long lines. Uh -huh. Long phrasing, one. right? And of course, on the piano, you don't have like on the violin, the bow or the vibrato. You, know, you push true. the key and you have to give the feeling that it's sustained, even though it's physically not. Yes. And that's difficult. Phrasing is not easy, so. guys. Next one, list. Don Juan. Ah, uh, Don Juan. That's got to be God level. Mm. This one I'll put Ling Ling level. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've played it as well, and it is extremely difficult. There are places that you have to. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but like, arrange a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. No, I mean of course you play what's written, but you have to find oh, your okay. own way how it works. There are places that are just like. Very, very difficult. It's definitely one of the most difficult Liszt pieces because Liszt was a pianist in s himself and some pieces, they work very well and they sound much harder than they are. But this one, I can say, is very difficult. Mm. Sati. Easy. Okay, that's easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, if you put that Ling Ling, then I'm Ling Ling. Yeah. yeah. I love the piece. That's though. also not really a piece that pianists play though, is it? I've never really... I mean, everyone knows it. Yeah, but... it's kind of like canoning D. I can I guess, imagine for pianists, it's just so yeah. overly popular. You don't even learn it. You just by the time you can play, you you really can play the piano so well. Yeah. Ooh, etude number five, opus ten. Let's put it medium. That looks nicer. <laughs> no, it's, like, it's, it's obviously like nice not. Visual balance. Yeah. <laughs> medium looks it's a bit empty. No, no, it's obviously not easy, but it's the. 
It's the black key A two. Is that the one Lam Lam play with an orange? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> right hand, it's all on black keys, Dude, and for me, it's. Yeah. It's that's good, it lays well in the hand. No, 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 wait, disclaimer. For me, this lays well in the hand because... <laughs> For me, it's yeah. medium. Dude, but it plays well under no, the wait. orange too, so it's not too bad. I think on the piano, it's more extreme than on the violin, that there are certain techniques that for some people are very easy, whether others can't do it no matter how much they practice. And it has nothing to do with whether your technique is bad or good. That's me with up bow staccato. It's not a technical <laughs> I mean, thing. Some people just can and that... some people just can't. I no, you have it. that on the violin too, but I feel like on the piano it's... Easiest example on the piano is if you have two small hands, there are just things like me that I can't That's true. have to roll it. Of course this etude is not easy, but for my rating now I would put it in medium. Got it. Okay, so we need one more medium, one more leaning to make it bounce. <laughs> okay, that I would put in hard. Ooh. Like over the other A2. Okay. For me, again. It's the ocean A2. The... Oh, yeah. Is that the one you played in the charades game? Is that Chopin? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I still remember. Pathetic. Beethoven. Lingley. God level. She's gonna surprise us, okay, easy. Let's put it medium. I'm not sure oh. though. Medium or hard. Oh, nice. So it's quite a bit easier than Moonlight. Look at wow. that comparison. That's crazy. I mean, I don't wow. know piano, so, but yeah, there you go. Sorry, can I just do something? I'm not quite sure about that one, but let's leave it there for now. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, that was more symmetrical. Wait. Yeah, yes, this. <laughs> but put the etude over Träumerei, maybe. Oh, but now it's not okay, so much. Okay, I mean, te te technically, technically, but okay. it's all right. This is difficult. Ravel, first time jumping oh, in the sea. Gaspar de la Rue. Okay, that's Ling Ling level. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I haven't played it yet, but it's, you know. Sounds like it's going to be like. Uh, People say the hardest piece ever, especially Scabo, and I believe it, so. Yeah. Whoa. That's cool, too, because it's like actually really nice to listen to as well. It's not Whoa. just like... Just technique. Yes. Yeah. It's so difficult technically, but you still have to make it musically an interesting piece, because if you just play fast and many notes, it's also... Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Now we have Mr. Tchaikovsky, <laughs> Piano Concerto number one. God level, oh. I would say. Yeah. yeah. Sense. It's yeah, pretty it's big concerto. You need to have sound. How would you compare it to Rachmaninoff though? Mm. Two of the biggest piano concertos ever. I mean, of course, they're slightly different styles because they're different composers, obviously. Mm -hmm. But they're both very big concertos and you need to have a big sound to even be heard <laughs> over the orchestra. There are parts in these two concertos where it's just the whole orchestra. Yeah, that's true. They're, they're playing out differently. their yeah. heart yeah. and it should be like that. The orchestra shouldn't, you know, take themselves back too much. That's true. It won't sound as epic. Yeah. Greek, Greek. piano concerto. Ooh. I reckon Sophie's gonna say... Medium. Medium. I mean, it would look very symmetrical in medium. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do it. Come on, do it. I would put medium or hard. Ooh. Okay. Don't let us sway you. Yeah. But it would look very yeah, symmetrical. Yeah, let's put it in medium. Okay. It looks yeah. nice in medium. Yes. Nice. I don't know this piece. Glinka Balakirev the Lark. To be honest, I also don't really know it. Okay, so we'll just put it back. But, <laughs> I mean, my gut would say to put it in hard. I think that's safe. Okay. Because okay. it for sure isn't easy. Yeah. And oh wow, sure, now it looks lingling. very symmetrical. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's just Whoa, keep going. Oh, it's like a sideways tower. Yeah. That wasn't even on purpose. Well, I think we have to keep going, right? Yeah. No, wait. <laughs> We're gonna keep it even. Oh, who's this? I oh, like the Islami. Ah. Mm, God I haven't God. played it, but l I think it's Ling Ling level. Ling -ling. Oh! It's supposed to be next to Gaspar de la Nuit, the hardest piece ever. I haven't played it, so I can't like say how it is for me, but I'm, it's incredibly difficult, I'm sure. Uh, this, I'm guessing this will be Ling Ling Hammer, too, right? Klavia. Ling Ling. Ooh. Yeah, it's either God level or Ling Ling. Okay. 
What, what would be the deci deciding factor for God level or Ling Ling for this one? I don't know, I'm kind of doing this all by God feeling. <laughs> I'm in the middle, I can just let go of my mouse and see where it goes. Let's put it... Let's put it Ling Ling. Because oh. it's... It's a very difficult piece to listen, actually, in the audience. Because it's very long, it's very complicated, and it's musically very difficult and not so easy to follow as a listener. So the player really has to do a good job in having the whole thing under one. That's logo. interesting, oh, it's, it's difficult that's... also for listeners. Yeah. For me, sometimes when I listen to it, it's like, Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to follow. That means the pianist wasn't good enough for Sophie. No, but you have to be extremely, I think, mature as a pianist also to play it. Like, I didn't play it yet because I feel like not yet. You know, yeah. it's a, one of those pieces that you don't want to play too early, mm. I think. Next one, Rachmaninoff, Prelude in G minor, Opus 23, number 5. Hard well done. I would say medium or hard. Medium well, rare. Medium well. <laughs> okay, medium well, right here. <laughs> Let's put it medium, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice. Chopin knocked in number two, an E flat major, opus nine. Oh, Easy yeah. for Sophie, I think. Fair enough for other people. It's one of those pieces again that. It's like Tzardas. The notes are. Oh, it's actually Tzardas. <laughs> oh, Tzardas. Childless. I think she's gonna say the opposite. Yeah, she sounds easy, but it's actually really hard. Lingly. Okay, for this thing, let's put it in easy, but it is not. Oh, right. <laughs> easy. I think this easy tile needs to like bracket, but it's not. Yeah, easy, easy but it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totem task. Uh, I'm gonna guess God level. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. gotta bounce out the square. Exactly. It's gonna be five by five. So clearly the next one has to be easy, clear to lose. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> Yeah, my favorite piece, Actually. but probably easy. We put it in easy. Yeah. But again, it's not... Okay, we have five left, Sophie. Our job is to fit one each. <laughs> Alright, for at least... Actually, can we put all five down and then Sophie can tell us... Okay, okay, Sophie, you tell us. We're gonna do it ourselves first. Yeah, done. How would you rate that, Sophie? Mm. How about now? Nah, for oh. Elise can't be me. Yeah, no, I played that. <laughs> That's like... Actually though, for Elisa is really difficult to play well oh. in concert because everyone knows it's such a easy beginner piece. I actually would put Liebesträume in Ling Ling. <laughs> Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> to be honest. Okay, let's put the fantasy impromptu in God level, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, then the nocturne hard. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not quite, but it's we okay. We seriously got a perfect box here. Is there anything you want to change before you lock it in, Sophie? Actually, maybe let's leave it like that because that's oh. how it. Yes. God created. Mm. Wow, look at that. Wow. There you go, everyone. Oh, Sophie, you're supposed to finish the video. We are guests. Oh, yeah. Thank you for being my guest. It was an honor. Was... Thank you for your help <laughs> yes. in rating these pieces. Thank you. No worries. We're glad <laughs> we can give our advice and expertise. Please subscribe to our channel on Two Set Violin. Check out our channel below. <laughs> but on a serious note, check out Sophie. She's a boss pianist. Yes, she came on tour with us before. You might see her in the future too. Yeah. So, wee oui, wee. Oui.